This is a house from Karen and Connie Gaming. Disclaimer, I am not associated with them in any way, but I'm a huge fan. So they posted this house under 5,000 simoleons for someone who's doing a rags to riches. And so I decided I was going to use this because it fit perfectly in the werewolf world. This is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Infant Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to have a hundred babies and raise them all to adulthood. Now I'm doing this a little bit differently than the normal 100 baby challenge in that I'm doing quests every day and sometimes they may even kill my sim. Like unfortunately last- okay now we're a difficult family dynamic. Okay unfortunately last time we lost our matriarch Zero Sparks so Paris is working on becoming the next matriarch but she still needs a lot of things to get done. She's accomplished most of them but the next thing that we need to do is buy the professional slacker trait and that cost 4,000 satisfaction points and we only have 1,445. I think the best way to do it is to actually use the dogs and feel the love if we can. So last episode there was also a little mishap. Unfortunately I made some miscalculations with the money situation. So we fixed that and we only have 254 simoleons. And today our quest is to get a wishing well and make a wish and we cannot tip it. So 10 times if somebody dies. So we're going to have Paris focus on ch satisfaction points and have Lilith try to earn some money. Is Samu? No, you're not dating Lilith. So now for some reason she wants to pick on Raul. Well, we want to rile up a sim anyway, so we'll do that. We just have to make sure not to adversely affect conflict resolution. Okay, this is something about the wants that I don't like. She wants to become enemies with Raul from being unfriendly. And then she got another one saying become friends with Raul from being acquaintances. I can't do both unless I do one first and then the other. That's kind of weird. Well, we'll try to apologize. Maybe that'll work. Maybe if I get him to where he's mostly friendly, I can add him to Social Bunny and then we can easily make friends with him and then make enemies with him. Where are you, Dustin? Dustin is trying to get in on my conversation. I don't want to even talk to him anymore. I just want to talk to Raul. Okay, we finally were able to add him on Social Bunny. Now, I cannot become friends with him through Social Bunny. I can only use it to get close. And then I have to do it by talking to him or it won't count. And sometimes, even if you do it the right way, it won't count. All right, finally, we're friends. Now we can stop. Okay, in order to become enemies, that is a social interaction. So all I have to do is get him really mad at me on Social Bunny first, which kind of takes a lot of clicking. Okay, that actually didn't take too many clicks because he didn't like me very quickly. And that is how you make an enemy after making friends with someone. I'm okay with it because it's just ridiculous how their wants are conflicting with each other. Mm, I did not get credit for that. My conflict resolution fell out of range, and I didn't even get credit. Well, at least I can try and find common ground, and I think that, yeah, that helps my conflict resolution. Well, I'm gonna have to drink a want refresher or something. Lilith, why aren't you sleeping? Should we do these lessons? No, I don't think we'll do them for the Hunter Baby Challenge. I'll do them in Super Sim because Super Sim is all about doing whatever the game provides with no mods and no cheats, but I don't think this really fits in the 100 Baby Challenge. So we're gonna go turn those off. They also seem to really lag out my game for whatever reason. Oh good, we got a golden frog. And we sold it. Okay, now we can make our wishes. The only question is where am I going to put it? Okay, what are we allowed to ask for? Um, 
I think that the only thing that really makes sense is wishing for simoleons because we don't really need skills. We don't need romance. We don't need anything else. So maybe we'll just do that. Because I also don't think that carries any risk of death. Although I might lose a lot of simoleons. <laughs> I lost a simoleon and 250 more. That's not so bad. But he's mischievous now. I know, forget all this, Lilith. You have to go down and make a wish. We don't have a lot of time until midnight. That cost us another 250 simoleons. Okay, so so far this has cost us 502 simoleons plus the 7,000 for the wishing well. I think that we actually lost money on this one. What what was that? I got 400. Okay, I got 460 from Paris selling things out here. I don't know what she's selling. Oh, I forgot I have a curfew set. The curfew was really for Una, so I should probably cancel that now oh. all right so we get to spin the winning wheel for the wishing well and we get 13 percent all right so the quest for today is actually to get 5,000 simoleons and loans from other sims and since we have good charisma um is somebody dying i hear it but i don't see it there's grim where is the person I just saw people walking by. Okay, Grim, I don't know why you're here. My guess was it was a vampire and they kind of walked off screen or zoned out as Grim was coming. So there may or may not be an urn here. Oh, there she is. Okay, I need to remember where that is. It's outside of the museum. Did I ask for a loan? Uh, probably he denied me. Yeah, okay. Alright, go away then. Alright, who are my friends? Maybe we can get some loans from my friends. Valentino. Oh, we don't want to invite him. No, wait, he's not a vampire. He's the son of the master vampire. And he's Lilith's spouse. <laughs> Uh, Una, I think it's kind of cheating to ask from Valentino and Una, though. They're family. Wiki is not family. Maybe we should invite over the friends that are not family and ask them. I think she only has two friends like that. Okay, if these people won't give me a loan, then I know that I can only go for the small loans. Okay, 2,000 simoleons. Okay, there's another 2,000. That makes it 4,000. Now I have to try and get some money from people I don't know yet. Okay, he's tense. He probably won't give me anything. Let's ask for a small loan. Maybe that one works easier. All right, I got 500 simoleons. I like how asking for a loan is in small talk. I don't think that would be small talk, but we only need one more $500 loan. And there it is. Now you guys can go home. Only a thousand more satisfaction points to go. This is going to be super annoying because she has this territorial werewolf trait or whatever you call these things, temperaments. So... It basically makes her want to pee all the time. And if she's pregnant, that's going to be even worse. Okay, we'll try one more time to invite over Raul and see if he'll come over so we can make enemies with him this time. And we sold another frog. The only annoying thing about mean conversations is they keep dropping because he quits talking to me. I mean, I get it. You don't want to talk to me, but quit it. I need to talk to you. Okay, finally I can declare enemy. It better work this time. I better get credit for this. No. Alright. And every time I do that, it takes away from my conflict resolution. I, I, I just gotta forget about it. I can't make enemies. Alright, I don't want that want anymore. Go away. All right, now we want to listen to easy listening music and get to know Una. 
Again with the competitive game? That's so annoying. All right, well, that's the end of Tuesday. And we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get 99%. Wow. That's another 74,593 simoleons for a total of 149,939 simoleons. Well, we have enough to move out now. So as long as we don't screw up for the rest of the week and we can finish getting our satisfaction points, we just need uh, about 645 more. Okay, we got a lot from the Spring Festival, so we only need about... 145 more. Oh, and the quest for today is to go ice skating and make it around the rink five times without falling. So we'll have to visit an ice skating rink and it's usually best to do these quests early. So maybe we'll leave as soon as we get done with our tournament. I'm pretty much to the point where Somber Howl is taking care of my fury. So I'm keeping it under control because she's not sleeping. Why can I not feel the love with Bubblegum? Can we just talk to him or something? I can't pick up Bubblegum for some reason. All right, let's see if the reboot helped. Finally. I didn't get it. Okay, can we do it again, please? She couldn't pick up the dogs or do any interaction that required picking up the dogs. And there's our 4,000 satisfaction points. So Paris is going to be a professional slacker. And now we don't have to complete her lone wolf aspiration until she's ready to move out as an elder. So right now, she can have her birthday as long as her conflict resolution is in range still. Yes, it is. Okay. So we can have her birthday. She has everything that she needs, the junk food fiend, the A in school because she graduated early, and she has the fear of a dead-end job. She is seldom sleepy, and I think it, th there was one other one that I was supposed to get, always welcome. Okay, so she already has always welcome, and she has her lifestyle and her character trait in range. So Paris is ready to become an adult. Now she did have to complete the first step of her aspiration, but she's already done that. That was the werewolf initiate. So the lone wolf is the next step. And that's only required when she's going to move out as an elder after she's done with the 100 baby challenge. So yeah, you can go ahead and take a feral poo and we'll get you some medicine because you've been sick for a while now and I don't know why you're not getting better. So this is actually the first time I've had a switch over for the matriarch. So I'm not sure exactly how I want to play it. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll have a party and then we'll have a family reunion. Not sure if I really want to have a birthday party though. Yeah, I really didn't have an ice skating rink in my game, so I just put one in Mount Kumarabi, and we'll use that one. Well, here we go. We have no skill at this. And she fell. And she fell again. <laughs> we didn't even make it around one time. Her fitness is level one, so she's not doing too good. Okay, that's one time. Oh, she made it too. She needs to practice her fitness anyway, and Lila is just showing her up. Nope. <laughs> and we start over. Stop lapping me, Lilith. Maybe I should... Whoa, Lily almost fell. Maybe I should just complete this with Lilith. I think Lilith is actually really good. I haven't been keeping track of her. Now, the way these quests work is unless it specifies that you have to do it for everyone, only one person has to accomplish the goal. It's just usually easier to use the matriarch because then they will be better skilled for the next time you have a quest that's similar. See, Paris has just reached fitness level two and Lilith is on her last lap. 
And there's five. So yeah, she doesn't have to do it now. And this is actually a spa I built for a challenge. So that's why the bathrooms and all the rooms look a little bit weird because this was one of those challenges where you couldn't add walls. So you had to complete it and make it anything you wanted without adding any more walls. Oh no, you did not just delete that. Okay, well, when Sims are on other lots, I thought it was only if they were in the open world. If they were on an actual lot, I didn't know that they did this. Whenever they interact with food and they're done with it, they just delete it. It doesn't create a dish or get leftover. Okay, well, anyway, here's the upstairs and all the people doing yoga. And this middle area was supposed to be an imitation climbing wall. I have little hand holds that go up to the top because the person who did this build challenge actually put this huge mount of dirt in the middle of the walls. So yeah, that's why it's like that. And then I put an actual climbing wall from the fitness center so you can kind of go up it a little bit and it's a little bit functional but it's actually not functional all the way to the top. So here's the theater room where you're running on treadmills and watching a movie. I have actually been to a gym that did that. It was actually kind of cool because you could run while you're watching a movie. And here is the top floor, which is a sauna and the little flags at the top of the climbing pole. So yeah, I thought this design kind of fit Mount Kumarabi. I know it's a box and you think, well, how, how with the build challenge where you couldn't add walls, did you get a box? Um, I didn't start out with a box. I started out with something like this, but I made the box because I actually added roofs to the outside of this. Now, when I placed it in this lot, I changed out the roofs for actual walls. So it's not technically uh, winning the challenge anymore because there are walls where there weren't originally walls. But I did use roofs before instead of walls. So that's why it's not too crazy. So welcome to the hotel where we store all of the past matriarchs and children that have passed away. So this hotel, we're actually renovating it and I got some of the common areas done. I don't think I've shown those yet, but this is the pool area and we have almost finished the lobby. I think most of it is done. We might need a chair and maybe a check-in area or something, but we have some public bathrooms. We have a dining area that is a little sparse. I'm not sure what else we want to put in here, but that is underway. And these rooms are not done yet. Uh, we just did the hallway and the stairs and upstairs. There is another hallway leading to the suite where Paris and Zero Sparks is going to stay. So this is Sparks or Zero Sparks room and I put her urn here. We're going to try and get her ghost in here and have a family reunion. Now this is a haunted house so unfortunately the lights will not stay on unless there's someone in the room. So it's going to be a little dark unless someone is actually there. Now I think it's my MC command center, but for some reason when I click on this urn, I can immediately call forth the ghost. I think it's too high though. And nothing happens when I hit that. That's strange. I know that I've been able to do this before. Maybe she just ended up on a different level. Well, anyway, that call forth ghost seems to not work for some reason. Well, it's okay. We're just going to have a family reunion and I was going to have Paris try and clean up the place a little bit because there was trash everywhere. Uh, but unfortunately I forgot that they had maid service. And so when I reloaded the game, it said a maid has cleaned your place and charged you 46 simoleons and all of the trash was gone. I was like, oh, oh well, I guess that works too. 
I honestly don't think they would have had enough time, but it did leave all of these glasses everywhere. So there's still dishes, but I think the dishes are just not spoiled. So it's actually making them clean that up individually instead of the maid service doing it. And here comes the welcome wagon. Do I really want the fruit cake? Maybe if I ask them to help clean, they will get everything done quicker. And of course, for some reason, I can't ask for help cleaning. Yeah, I think cleaning up two or three glasses in every single room is punishment enough. Uh, there was trash everywhere in every single room. I don't think they would. she would ever clean that up, even if I left her here for weeks. Now, the only thing is, I don't have the ability to ask Wolfbane over for his contribution to the legacy. So and here in the 100 Baby Challenge, we have Wolfgang Munch, who is also trying to have 100 babies. And he's an NPC family. He actually passed the baton to one of his children. So Wolfbane had six children. One of those children actually got married and had two more children. So that brings the total to eight. And then I happen to know his wife is pregnant with twins. So she now has 10 children total. And that means that we are way behind because we only had two and then zero sparks died. So Paris has a lot of catching up to do. I think now that this welcome wagon is over, we're going to plan our family reunion. And during the family reunion, we're going to age Paris up to an adult. And then we're going to move her out into her new house and she's going to start over. And the way I do this is we actually have to start with zero simoleons and she can only earn money with her method of, of making money, which is going to be anything related to werewolves. And it, it, for some reason, allows me to invite Christopher, I think because he's a friend and Wiki also, those two people are not part of the family. So I'm only going to invite family members. Is Samu is actually Paris's and Una's father. And then all of these kids are his kids and this is his wife. So he actually got married and had other children. And then Valentino is Lilith's husband. So they're all invited. And we get eight hours. That is a long time for a social event. Well, Paris is hungry anyway, so we need to make a meal. And we immediately have bronze for some reason. Can we even make a meal? Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have a kitchen up here. So I made this suite first because I knew this had a kitchen area. So we have everything that we need in this little section. This is like a mini apartment for like the owners of the hotel, but we're going to use it for the first two matriarchs. And then each matriarch that follows after will have to renovate one of these individual suites and they will stay in the mini suites. No, she took a piece of my cake. You took a piece of my cake. Now you're going to have to make another one. And what did you do with it? You didn't even eat it. Oh, someone else must have taken a piece before I got it out of the refrigerator. Someone took a piece of my cake. Well, fine. We'll just have to make another one, which is going to be hard because I believe this place is cursed. Well, we'll just leave the cake here and whoever wants it can go get it. Oh, and we also have simple living on. Okay, well, I'm going to have to turn off some of these lot challenges because the idea was that this was going to be a really rundown place. I've actually made it so that there are a lot of things that are repaired now. And so I think that I should remove some of the lot challenges. And we have to make another cake. And then we have to also make a meal because, oh yeah, um, hi Ghidri. In a cruel twist of fate, you've ended up in a haunted house, possibly by the hands of some malevolent mastermind controlling your every action. Maybe make the most of it. Surely there's a good reason to be here. Well, the reason why we've chosen a haunted house is because this house is a hotel that is supposed to house all of the ghosts of the family. So obviously it needs to be haunted. 
Oh, Paris acquired the cooking skill. Yeah, it's a good thing I removed the cursed lot trait. There's no way she'd be able to bake a cake without making a fire. Now, I have noticed that they have fixed the cursed lot trait. Before they turned it into a lot challenge and it was just an actual trait on the lot, it didn't matter how high your skill was. You could be level 10 in a great mood and baking a cake and every time you would start a fire, every time. I know because I tried and it didn't matter what you did, you would start a fire. And normally when you're baking cakes, it doesn't usually start a fire. The one that starts a fire is when you use the stove top to make grilled cheese or fry fish or something like that. But I've never seen under any other circumstances a fire start when someone was making a cake, except for having that cursed lot trait. All right, no one take any pieces of cake from this cake because I need it. Come on, add candles, hurry up. Or someone decides to take a bite out of it. All right. So Paris is going to be the next matriarch. She is going to be an adult. We, let me just make sure her character value is in range. I don't want to make that mistake. Okay, yes it is, but barely. So we can have her blow out the candles. And this is not the best setup, but we'll try and get some screenshots here. Happy birthday, Paris. And we are going to be paranoid. Great. So she's hot headed, proper and paranoid. Okay, she's supposed to have a creativity adult aspiration. And the reason why is because it gives her this muser trait. So it's really not going to help her too much, but that's what she gets for being an adult. Oh, and we actually completed a milestone for some reason. Oh, because she's level four in an instrument. All right, well, we will change this back. She's not going to actually do that aspiration. We changed it back to Lone Wolf. She's actually not going to do the creativity aspiration. She's going to complete the Lone Wolf aspiration when she gets around to it. And really, that is your party outfit. I thought I did a makeover on some of her outfits. Maybe not. Yeah, I could have sworn I did some makeovers on her outfits to make them less teenage-like, but uh, for some reason, I guess it didn't save, or maybe I did it on the wrong save file. All right, well, anyway, this is her party outfit for now. Can we call everyone to meal? Yes, we can call everyone to the meal on the cakes. So everyone will come up here and get some cake now. And that's going to be Paris's contribution to the family reunion, is that she is going to basically make everyone have junk food and for some reason i cannot get lilith to recharge i think something keeps waking her up oh she's in a room with a tv here she's probably not going to be able to sleep and i still can't ask anybody to help clean oh well oh we need to take photos as the main goal okay we need to take a photo of paris anyway i wonder if it counts if you take a selfie Okay, that counted as five photos. Let's see if we can get some pictures of the pets. I don't know if that counts or not, but I really want to have pictures of the dogs anyway. Oh, and bubblegum is dirty. That's not going to make for a very good picture. We need to give you a bath, bubblegum. Now, unfortunately, Paris does not have a bathtub in here. I kept looking at the shops because the way I... Oh, there's a ghost here. But that's Bajoran, that's not Zero. Well, anyway, um, I kept looking at the shops and I couldn't find a nice bathtub that would go with her decor. All right, the family reunion is over. We only got silver. I kind of lost track of time. We did get a photo of Bubblegum. So Bubblegum is going to be staying with Lilith and then Paris is going to be moving out. Lilith did not get to finish her foosball game with Serena. So today's quest is to win a game of foosball. And it's only 3 a.m. So I'm going to say Paris is going to have to do that one. And our other quest, we did get uh, ice skating around the rink five times. And our bonus is 39%. 
But it really doesn't matter because Paris is not going to be keeping these household funds. She only needed about 10,000 simoleons in order to buy her house and, and her lot. And then she's going to have zero simoleons and have to start all over. So let me go ahead and get that set up. And we're back. And this is a house from Karen and Connie Gaming. Disclaimer, I am not associated with them in any way, but I'm a huge fan. So they posted this house under 5,000 simoleons for someone who's doing a rags to riches. And so I decided I was going to use this because it fit perfectly in the werewolf world. Now, the only downside is it is really dark. It doesn't have any lighting on the inside because all of these windows let in natural light and I think this is like a debug lamp. It doesn't even seem to provide that much light even though it's a little bit lit up. So we might have to play during the day which is kind of sad because Paris doesn't like sleeping during the night. She likes sleeping during the day. So that's a little bit of a challenge. And the reason why I chose Moonwood Mill is because Paris is a werewolf. And I was going to pick a random world. And by the way, I got Strangerville. Uh, so that would have been bad. But unfortunately, she can't scavenge the ground and find stuff unless she's in Moonwood Mill. I tried so hard to find stuff in other worlds and you don't even find random things. I thought maybe that you would get random collectibles, but no, you don't even get that. You get nothing. When you're in Moonwood Mill, you can scavenge the ground and actually find either a random collectible or a werewolf piece or book. So we will have to actually be here in order to make a living. And I don't want her traveling a lot because she's supposed to live with the lot challenges she has on this lot. And the way I do lot challenges in this series is I first roll a random number between one and 12. Well, it's 13 now because wild prairie grass is now a thing. So I rolled a number w when this was only 12 lot challenges and I got 11. So since I got 11, that means there's only one lot challenge that will not be activated. And then you roll a random number to see which one is not on. And we got spooky. So that means that Paris is going to be working with all of the lot challenges except for spooky. And I decided to allow her to make this a tiny house. There's only 23 tiles used. And so that I don't change this house too quickly, the way the rules work, I'm not allowed to sell items. So for example, I can't just sell this couch and buy a bassinet. If I get rid of the couch, I get no simoleons for it. And I'm only allowing myself to get rid of maybe one item a day that's in the house and then I don't get any simoleons for it. So I can add as much as I want, but I can only take away one item a day. And then what I'm also going to do is I cannot add any tiles to this house unless I have a baby. So for each baby that we have, we are allowed to add one more tile. And that means this house is gonna be really small for a really long time. So I'm going to bend some of the other rules that I used to follow for Zero's 100 baby challenge. So we're allowed to live outside because we're werewolves. So I can buy a tent, put a tent out here and have kids living in the tent. I'm going to buy a tree house, build a tree house and have the teenagers sleep in the tree house and have the kids sleeping in the tree house, the tent, depending on whether or not they're a werewolf or a human. And then we're going to try and keep all of the newborns, infants, and maybe toddlers in the house. And the reason for that is I don't want any of the teenagers to take care of the babies. That is going to be solely Paris's responsibility. And this 100 baby challenge, we don't have the teenagers help out. <laughs> You're stuck doing everything as yourself. 
Paris is going to live in the house with all of the babies. Toddlers we may allow outside to sleep in the tent if they're a werewolf. And if they're not a werewolf, then they have to sleep inside in a bed. I think that will work well for our 100 baby challenge. However, I'm not going to allow Paris to mate with werewolves because that would guarantee us werewolf babies. And additionally, she might get the faded mate relationship with one of them. And I don't want her to get that. I want her to never have a faded mate until maybe she's an elder. We might get her a faded mate. But for now, she's not allowed to be romantically involved with werewolves. Now, hopefully she doesn't do this autonomously. If she does, hey, there's nothing I can do. But I'm not going to have a baby with them. And that cannot be autonomous. So if she does get a faded mate, she will have to wait until she's an elder to marry them. But for right now, we're just going to look for humans, vampires, spellcasters, mermaids, or anything else, aliens even. As long as they're not a werewolf, then she will try to have babies with those donors. Now, she's not having any fun. So luckily, scavenging is actually fun. And we have zero simoleons. So the first thing that we need to do is get a dog bowl for Loki. And since this is a simple living, another thing that I'm going to do is whenever we have something that doesn't require ingredients like pet food and baby bottles and toddler food in the high chair, things like that, I'm actually going to take ingredients from the refrigerator and delete them. Oh, we actually got a werewolf thing. I wonder if we want to try and complete this collection. It would be interesting to, but for now, I really need to get Loki something to eat. Hopefully I can find something else. Oh, the lights did come on. Okay, so since we're off the grid and off the grid is kind of bugged, I might randomly have lights and randomly not have lights. Oh, I think they're the, okay, they're these little tiny things that are, I, I don't know what you call them, the, the little lights, they sized them down so tiny that I could barely see them. Well, if we can find something, oh, we found a fish. We can actually eat that, but it's foul. You could also feed your pets sim food if they have that misbehavior, and you can also give them food. So maybe we'll do that instead of getting a regular pet bowl. It just means that we'll have to watch Loki carefully and see if he has any hunger in order to give him scraps of food. Oh, I have the ability to smell as well. I forgot about that. That guarantees you a werewolf artifact. Oh, we're not doing the lottery. No, nope, sorry. You're going to have a bad holiday, Paris. Okay, we got a Baconite. Now, I'll start out just outright selling these, but what I plan to do is get the selling table and sell them on the selling table. First, I have to get enough simoleons to do that. And actually, we had a quest today to win a game of foosball. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. We will try. We also need to get pregnant. And I'm not going to require her to buy three bassinets. What I'll do is I'll get pregnant first. And then I'll figure out using MC Command Center how many babies she has and buy that many bassinets. Because the problem with the bassinets is that I have to fit them in here somewhere. And to be honest, unless she just has one kid, I'm not gonna fit it in here. There's no way. All right, we got a uncommon one. I, come on, I want to save these, but yeah, it, it's gonna be kind of difficult to save them if I'm needing a selling table. Well, we can sell the minnow. We don't need to eat it. I'm hoping to get duplicates because I want to save all of those that I get and make that weird shelf thing in here somewhere because it's just so cool. Why is Loki looking so, oh, he has no affection. I was about to say, why is Loki so sad? Let's play with Loki a little bit. Okay, we got a book from that. When the welcome wagon comes here, hopefully they will have someone that we can woohoo with. Although I don't think we have a place to woohoo yet. That's a problem. Okay, are you happy now? Yes, you're happy now. Okay, we got two of those We're Living magazines. So I'm just going to sell one. 
That's only 20 simoleons. Okay, 51 simoleons. This is going really slow. As I said, this would be a, more of a challenge than having Lilith and her dust buddies. I can also use ferocious intimidation, but that makes people mad at me and it doesn't usually work. So I'm trying this method first. Oh, cool. The Batu tree house is right here. <laughs> this is another one of my builds for a challenge. Now, luckily for me, the Moonwood Collective likes to have plants over here in the world. So I'm allowed to gather from plants in the world. Let's see if I can get anything out of Lily. Oh, I did. 230 simoleons. Now, technically, I think I'm a friend of the Moonwood Collective. Yeah, I could actually wash up in here. I, I'm not sure I'm okay with that. Can I tell Christopher that we're not friends anymore? Because I'm a lone wolf. I shouldn't be able to use that. No, I can only join the pack. I can't say I'm not a friend. Well, maybe if I join the pack, I can leave. Hmm, I can only spar with him. I'll probably lose. But if I can't do that, I'm going to have to give him one of my collectibles. Oh, I have two Gibbies. I could actually give him a Gibby. Oh no, I am about to transform. Okay, we can't do that. Yeah, she's going to go autonomously wash up. I don't want her doing things like that. She's going to have to use her shower at home. If we had the aspiration that she wanted to be part of the Moodwood Mill Collective, I would be okay with it. But since she has the lone wolf aspiration, she's not going to be allowed to use the pack resources. Okay, maybe if I make her mad by sleeping during the day, I can transform faster. And she's already enraged. Good. Oh, here's the welcome wagon. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Is she the only one in the welcome wagon? I think she lives in the Batu treehouse. Oh, we have mend differences. This is from us being a mediator. So can we actually make our relationship okay now that we have scared her once? Oh, it did. Now she's actually slightly positive toward us. Okay, we should be nice to Lily because she's a fellow werewolf and she's actually part of the Moonwood Mill Collective. Plus, she's a neighbor. I'm not sure it would be good to have our neighbors hate us. Okay, we chatted. Can we leave now? Okay, the selling table is 300 simoleons. We're almost there. I could probably buy it by selling this Gibby, but I'm going to get a lot more money by selling it on the table. So maybe we can find something cheaper at first. Oh, and the dogs got in the house. I'm going to have to lock this for household only, or maybe just lock it for pets, because I have the trait on the lot of dog hangout. And I got pet training and vampire nexus. Those were actually randomly picked. Okay, can we send you home now? Will it end the event if I do that? Okay, there's no more neighbors here. It doesn't look like it's ending. Yeah, Christopher's not a neighbor. I think he's just randomly in the world. He doesn't have a place of residence. Okay, we're going to try canceling this. All right, nobody got mad at me for it. Because if you cancel it early, I think they get mad at you. Okay, we're going to try one more time to get some more money out of Lily. I know we just repaired our relationship, but I would rather scare people instead of having... Oh, you, you went away. Fine. But to say, I would rather scare people instead. Okay, we'll try sparring with Christopher. And there's Lily again. Why do you keep going into the hangout and coming out? Oh, come on, Christopher. All right, he's hanging out for a little bit. And he's a werewolf, so we are not flirting with him. This will probably not go over well. Because Christopher, despite being the not as in shape leader, is still incredibly hard to beat in a battle. I've tried several times in other games to take over the werewolf pack by using a honorable brawl, and I lose every time. I did finally manage to win by getting him in a really bad mood and challenging him after he was beaten up by someone else. Yeah, I lost. Oh, it doesn't matter if I lost, though. I think just challenging him is all I needed to do. 
yeah, I can still ask to join the Moonwood Collective. So I didn't have to win that battle. Good, that saves me my collectible. Okay, I joined it and now I'm going to leave. So that way she won't be a friend anymore. Okay, she gave me a potato. Okay, I'm saying pack life just isn't for me. I'm a loner. Oh, I'm still a friend. Why? I want to get rid of that. I'm going to have to cheat it away. I guess in order to not be a friend, I would have had to say something like, your pack sucks. <laughs> Maybe then he wouldn't make me a friend. But I didn't want to ruin my relationship with Christopher. He was the one who was kind enough to turn me into a werewolf in the first place. So he's kind of like my werewolf dad. However, Lily, since you gave me money last time, I'm going to try and get money out of you again. No, I did not get any money. I'm not going to be able to intimidate Christopher, though. I'm not going to try it. Oh, here, here is some wolfsbane. We can harvest this because this will allow us to make some, some werewolf cures for our children if we don't want them to be werewolves. Now, since the kids can sleep in a treehouse, I'm going to say that I can make them not werewolves once they're a teenager. Oh, who is this? Are you a werewolf or are you a vampire? We'll try intimidating him. Okay, he actually liked me after that? We'll give him an enchanting introduction, even though um, we did not get anything from him. Come on, stop running around. He's still scared of me. Oh, but I still don't have any place to woohoo, but there's bushes. That's right, we can woohoo in the bushes. Okay, I can ask for werewolf sympathy, which means this guy is not a werewolf. Okay, now he's flirty. Oh, I forgot to ask if he was single. We should have done that first. Hopefully he's single. I do not break up marriages. Oh, he's married. Oh, we got to be friends. Sorry. Okay, look, sorry, dude. We have to be just friends, and then I'm going to intimidate you again. Okay, there's a service sim. It looks like the waste manager. So maybe he's single. We should ask him. I guess I'll avoid the flirty introductions until I know if they're single or not. Oh, he's single. Good. And now I'm embarrassed. Oh, I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in that type of relationship y with you, but I'd like to be friends. Uh, I guess he's not into women. Oh, come on. I have the game importing sims from my tray, but Brody is supposed to be a male that is interested in females. I hate this about the sims sometimes. I mean, I understand. I get it. It's, it's, it's inclusive, but I specifically made this guy to be a certain way and he should be that way <laughs> in my game. All right. Well, I am honoring any sorts of preferences for the Sims. So I'm not allowing myself to do woohoo or anything like that with a Sim that does not prefer my gender. So we have to look for someone else now. Romance, no one. Okay, this was a bug a while ago where everyone who is imported into a game or created by the game was not interested in romance with anyone. And so I don't mind having one or two Sims like that, but when every Sim in your game is like that, it makes the 100 baby challenge kind of hard. Well, we're going to intimidate you then. Oh, is she my neighbor? Is Samo lives here? Oh, that is hilarious. I did not know that. I wonder where he lives then, because I thought that Lily lived in the treehouse because we've actually visited her before. There is another lot around here somewhere. Oh, the factory, but is that a, a residential one? Yeah, that's one James Turner made and I thought was pretty cool. So I put it here in Moonwood Mill. Um, but... I'm not sure if it's residential or not. Oh, look, and Lilith is here too. I wonder why she's here. Well, Loki is getting hungry, and unfortunately, the pond is frozen, so I can't go fishing. Guess we can just go hunting for food. I don't think that Loki can eat the raw meat, though, but what I might do is allow myself to exchange a raw meat for the dog food. That makes a lot of sense anyway. 
Uh, I really didn't want her to eat it. I wanted to actually add some bacon and make it junk food, but great. Can I give this to Wolfie? No, I can only wolf it down. Okay, it's not Wolfie, it's Loki. Why do I keep calling him Wolfie? I have a dog in another Let's Play that's called Wolfie. Oh, he can actually eat it. Oh, that's awesome. I love my pets mod. Well, that solves that problem. Come eat it, Loki, before the other dogs get it. And that should actually be good for him because it's not sim food. It's not cooked. It's raw meat. Dogs should be allowed to eat raw meat. Oh, I can't pick it up. I hate it when this happens. Basically, this thing gets knocked over and then it can't be picked up. And this bug has been in The Sims forever. The only choice is to replace this stupid trash can. Maybe I should just get a dumpster because you can't knock over the dumpsters and you can woohoo in a dumpster. That might be a good idea. Okay, I'm just going to have to sell one of my Gibbies. Now I have enough for the selling table, but nothing to sell. Because I plan on keeping these, at least one of them, and putting up that shelf eventually when I get enough room and I get enough simoleons to buy it. Okay, I have it locked for all pets except for household. So now Loki should be the only one allowed in there. And my bills are kind of weird. It says that I have negative six and the power is still working even though I'm off the grid. So the way that we're going to do that is unfortunately, oh, I can't even throw this away because I don't have a trash can technically. Oh, there's one in here. So I don't have an outdoor trash can anymore, but I do have an indoor trash can. So anyway, I let Loki in, so he should be the only one allowed in. And then for off the grid, I'm just going to have to work with the way that it unfortunately is glitchy. And that is bad. This rug moves when I mouse over it. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to have to work with the glitchy off the grid mechanism. And even though it does things it shouldn't do, whatever it does, that's what I have to deal with. Okay, so I can sort out recyclables and compostables out of this, and that will basically get rid of the trash. So I don't technically even need an outdoor trash can. That's good because I can't afford one right now. Okay, we're going to get a selling table. One thing that I find really nice about this house is that it's mostly green and Paris likes green and she chose that even before I decided to live in this house. Oh, it is so dark though. We are not going to be able to play foosball because I have to buy a foosball machine. I think we're going to fail today's quest. Hopefully we don't lose too many simoleons. I have to find something that I can sell. Okay, we got a moon caster pot shard planting, which we didn't have before. All right, well, it's almost midnight. So what I might do is try and figure out if there's something that we need to buy for 181 simoleons. Ah, we are going to need a baby cradle. I don't have anywhere inside to put it yet. I think maybe the developers made it so that you most likely find something that you don't already have because I've only found one duplicate so far and I have seven items that are not duplicated. Make that eight. Well, eventually we're going to find them all. And once we find them all, we're going to have to find some duplicates. And that's another reason why I didn't want to sell some of them because I don't know which ones are going to be more rare. Oh, we found the Diary of Greg. Awesome. So the Diary of Greg will allow me to learn the werewolf cure. And I can't cure myself, but I can cure my children as long as they don't have a werewolf aspiration. All right, we definitely lost the win at foosball and we were supposed to lose a 4%. So maybe I shouldn't have spent all the simoleons, but I needed a bassinet anyway. Oh, we got a tamed cow plant jawbone. It's only 75 simoleons. At least it's something. So I'll go ahead and remove this last simoleon because I'm going to round up. And then our next quest is going to be hire a scheduled maid, may purchase satisfaction reward trait of free services if you can afford it. Okay. We only have 500 
30 satisfaction points. Free services is 1500 satisfaction points. We need to get that because this is the only type of thing that unlocks more reward store purchases. And I want to be able to get that. Well, just hiring the scheduled maid is fine. I don't have to have the free services first. I have all day to try and purchase that. Doesn't work off the grid. Okay, that may be a problem. And we're just sleeping the night away because even though Paris doesn't like sleeping at night, I can't stand how dark it is. Yes, I know you're angry, Paris. Let's go hunt for food. I don't like how they eat it right away. I wish they wouldn't do that, but there's nothing I can do about it. We'll give one to Wolfie, although he's not even really that hungry. Paris gets much hungrier than Wolfie does. Come on, eat it, Paris, eat it. That didn't really even fill her hunger up that much. Although it does count as junk food. Okay, I need to spar with werewolves. I've supposedly done that with once, I guess with Christopher. We'll spar with Lily. Oh, come on. They keep leaving. Why won't she spar? Is there something wrong with Lily? Where are you going? Oh, Lily's not actually there. She's somewhere else. This happens in my game for some reason where a sim won't actually be where they're supposed to be. It's like the game loses track of them or something. She's actually over here somewhere. And resetting them doesn't help. Okay, I was able to fix it. So they're going to spar in front of the house. And again, it doesn't matter if she wins or loses, only that she actually spars them. Now she needs to win against Greg. And I don't think that will happen anytime soon. Now I think the werewolves you spar have to be unique, so we can't really spar Christopher again. We need to find some more werewolves. Here's one. Now Rory is really hard to beat. Yeah, I didn't win, but that's number three. Now you're a random person, um, but you're from the Munch family and you're single. Are you interested in women? Yes. Um, that was embarrassing. Okay, Paris is going to be an insider. Great. Um, no, you have to hang out with me. All right, our romance bar is pretty high. For some reason, it wasn't allowing me to kiss him unless we had a suggestive conversation. If it was just a casual discussion, I couldn't kiss him. All right, is there a bush anywhere around here? Okay, try for baby and bush. Maybe they'll just go to the closest one. I have no idea where it is, but we'll see. All right, we're trying for our first baby wherever the bush is. Okay, halfway across the world, that's fine. Too bad you can't use the bush to check for pregnancy. I have to go back to the house for that. While I'm here though, I'm going to order the service because for some reason you can use your phone when you're off the grid as long as you walk off your lot a little bit. Okay, we have to get a scheduled maid, which means we cannot cancel it. Oh, I can't afford a pregnancy test. Whoops. Oh no, a swarm of bees is descending and we have no way to outsmart them. Okay, we're just uncomfortable. Those have the potential to kill you. All right, as soon as we sell this, we'll go take a pregnancy test. All right, there we go. And we're eating for two. And I did go ahead and already check because I need to know how many babies I'm having in order to buy the bassinet. And it's only one baby. I usually like keeping it a surprise, but I need to actually buy the bassinets and I need to have room for them in the house. So I have to plan for that ahead of time. And there's no way to do that without ruining the surprise for myself. And then everyone else will know because they'll only see one bassinet in the house. Great, I can't take a photo of him. Oh, are you leaving? No, you can't leave yet. I'll ask you to hang out again. The rest of you can go, I don't care. I need to take a picture of this guy first. And also try and figure out how he's related to Wolfgang. He might be an offshoot of one of his brothers though. Here's a perfectly innocent photo. Okay, let's pick a random one that isn't bad. Oh, they're flirty ambiance, uh, that's nice. Okay, Matthias Munch is on our wall as a flirty ambience. Now, I'm not going to allow her to sell the pictures, so we're going to reset ourselves to 285 simoleons after we get rid of them. 
All right, the last thing I like to do is to ask them to be just friends because that way we don't have to worry about any sort of jealousy. And hopefully they don't flirt after I do this. Okay, we can send you home now. Now, the only thing is I didn't finish having my werewolf spars. I should have done that first before I got pregnant, actually. I forgot. Because now she won't be able to do that. Too many restrictions on pregnant women. Oh, Enzo is single. And he's not interested. Great. I have a bunch of people in my game that are not interested in romance with anyone. This is going to make it a little tough, but we'll work through it. Oh, my trash can is set upright again. Did someone autonomously do that? Or maybe it's because I rebooted my game? Interesting. Normally they are knocked over and then after that point you can't use it anymore. Okay, I was able to get a hamper and a wash basin. So that's how we're going to do clothes. And she's about to transform again. It's kind of fitting that she adds some bacon to the raw meat. Okay, this rug is the most annoying thing ever. Okay, apparently this thing is bugged because she can no longer throw it in the outdoor trash can. Okay, this is going to be my thing to get rid of for today. I already got rid of the couch, so that was for Wednesday. And I'm going to get rid of this trash can for Thursday. There. And now we just got to clean out this one right here by sorting out the recyclables. That is perfectly acceptable. You don't need an outdoor trash can. If you sort out the recyclables, then it will come out of this trash can and into your inventory and you can hit recycle and there's no more trash. Oh, we got a strawberry. We can actually plant that for food. We're not allowed to eat strawberries though because that makes our children girls. Really? All the way over here? Oh, okay. You've got to go all the way in an L shape. That was some pretty poor pathing decision. Okay, we hired a scheduled service. They haven't come yet, but they're supposed to come today. So we actually get to spin the winning wheel, but we no longer get to purchase the uh, reward store free services satisfaction thing. So that means we're stuck paying for a scheduled maid for the rest of Paris's uh, 100 baby challenge, which kind of stinks, but that's just how it goes. We get 84%. And since we have 85 simoleons, we gain 71 simoleons for a whopping total of 156 simoleons. Now, can we buy a clothesline? No, that's 200 simoleons. Now, today's quest is going to be make a new holiday that is different from the others in some way and complete it for everyone. And we already have a holiday because today is love day. So I'm just going to reuse that holiday and it starts at 6 a.m. So we need to complete this holiday for Paris. If it happened on a day where there wasn't already a holiday, then I would need to make a new one. I wonder what I could use the prairie grass for Dogs don't really eat grass, so I'm not going to allow myself to turn it into dog food. I guess m maybe you might be able to call it wheat and turn it into flour. That might be acceptable. Maybe I should split it between sugar and flour. I think that's what I'm going to allow myself to do because you can't use prairie grass for anything. And there's really no in-game way to make sugar and flour. I had a mod that allowed you to grow sugar cane and wheat and then process them into flour. But to be honest, the process was just so tedious. You could only do one at a time. And it took several in-game minutes, like, th well, actually more like 30 minutes or an hour for the thing to be processed. And you had to put them in the machine one at a time and gather them one at a time. You didn't have to stand there, but still it was a little bit too, it was too slow for me. You should be able to mass produce flour and sugar cane, or at least have a machine that's capable of doing it. So I bought some candle chandeliers and now we have light. And what I'm getting rid of for today is one of the small saucer lights. I got rid of one 
So hopefully that'll bring our power consumption down when we're able to buy something that actually produces power. So we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. I know she's tired and she's about to transform, but it's honestly just easier to generate a lot of fury and transform than it is to use somber howl to try and keep yourself from transforming. Oh no, Bubblegum has passed away. I finally found Bubblegum's urn. Unfortunately, it's not a pet urn, but that's okay. We're going to keep it here just like we would with any other urn. And I left Lilith here in this house and her husband actually moved in with her. So Valentino, um, you're not a vampire. You're the master vampire's son, but for some reason he's human. So he will unfortunately pass away. Oh, and he has friend of the animals as an aspiration. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, Lilith, is going to be preserving Bubblegum's urn and then we'll place it in Zero Spark's room. And Lilith is very sad. Unfortunately, Lilith is going to end up in this place alone because her husband is a regular Sim and he's going to pass away of old age eventually or maybe neighborhood stories will get him. I'm not sure if neighborhood stories will kill off a servo. Maybe. Um, so we're gonna have to be careful about that actually, because what's going to happen is if Lilith dies while in this place, it will basically remove all the furniture. So I might have to prevent that. I don't really have any other space on the wall, like shelving and, and stuff. Maybe I have to move something or we have to put the urn on the floor. Oh, there's a coffee table over here. That works. So Bubblegum's urn is here and we have preserved the spirit of Bubblegum. And I just need to check these every once in a while to make sure that they're not releasing. Because what I want to happen is when we come back here every once in a while, when we change generations to the new matriarch, I want the ghosts to be wandering around. That would be kind of cool. And Paris is transforming. And we're going to attempt to regain control. Uh, no. Great, well, I guess we get to do scavenging. And here's my maid service, which I don't have enough Hey, yeah, $29 on my bill or 29 simoleons. All he did is come in and flush the toilet. That was the only thing that he did. We desperately need some simoleons. So we're going to start a yard sale with some of the things that we found. We just got a couple of books and this little My Sims statue. We also need to try and get some of the Love Day stuff done. How about you, Roman Cho? Are you available? Of course you're married. Okay, go home now. Okay, whenever I add some sugar, I'm going to consume a sugar. And whenever I add some bacon, I'm going to consume some of this raw meat. So that's going to allow me to season my food and still use the ingredients. Now it's kind of silly to add sugar to raw meat, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I probably should also allow myself to trade the raw meat for the wrapped red and white meat that comes with Cottage Living because you can't cook with the raw meat that you get from the werewolf pack, but you can cook with the one you get from the Cottage Living pack. Not that I will be doing very much cooking in this kitchen because she's going to start a fire every single time. And Paris likes gardening. That's good because you're going to be doing a lot of gardening. We'll go ahead and give Christopher a love day gift of a wolf spay because that counts as a flower. And I think it's a friendly interaction. Okay, and he's being silly. All right, well, we can't bake anything because we have no power. We can't watch TV because we have no power. We can go on a date and have romantic spirit. So hopefully that's enough if I can find someone that I can be romantic with. There's a teenager at my door for some reason. Go away. Come back when you're an adult, please. It's actually really pretty here in Moonwood Mill. And 
this house is gorgeous. Despite the fact it looks like it's a little bit run down, it's so cute. I think I'm going to do polite introductions because I don't like asking to be friends after I've asked if they're single. Okay, Paris has learned that Jeb is married, so you can go home. And Yukita is married. Why is everyone married? All right, there's two more people here that I can have babies with, but this one, even though I can't have babies with females, I guess I could go on a date just to complete the holiday. Oh, Gregory is single, and so is Cannon. Hmm. So who wants to go on a date with me? Um, okay, so you don't want to have a relationship with me. All right. So we'll try Gregory. Oh, good. Someone who's actually interested in women. Okay, can we go on a date? And I know it's boring, but we're just going to stay here because we're only interested in completing the holiday. Are you coming with me? I said sit and chat here. Can you not get inside? It's only locked for pets. Okay, there we go. The pathing here is really weird. Oh, Loki, I know you're so sad. Just a minute. Okay, let's go out here because we can't do it inside for some reason. Oh, I need to pee. All right, that's it. Date's over. Gold medal earned, and you can leave now. Just a minute, Loki. I need to pee first. All right, she was able to complete the holiday because she went on that date. So she didn't have to do the baking or the TV because you only have to do a certain amount of those activities. You don't have to do all of them. So we spin the winning wheel and we get 73% and we only have 580 simoleons anyway. So we get another 423 simoleons for a total of 1,003 simoleons. Now today is Saturday, so we need to befriend a fox and that's harder than it sounds because foxes are notoriously finicky. They'll have a good interaction with you and then a bad interaction and making a friend of a fox in a single day is almost impossible. I'm not sure if I should even try. I didn't realize, but you can actually size down these horse ranch chandeliers and they still function properly. They don't have a flame. Oh, no, I was wrong. They don't function properly. Well, I don't really care. I want to size them down in the bathroom at least. So I put them back in the main area in the bedroom because it looks like there could be a chandelier that big in there, but in the bathroom, it is unrealistically large. And I need candles in there and I don't want to buy other candles. So we got a light in the bathroom now and we also got a clothesline, which I bought two columns and I extended the roof. Now, I allow that with the tiny homes as long as you only put outdoor activities under there. You can't put indoor activities under there. And we have the laundry basket here and the wash bucket here. So now we can actually do our laundry when we get it. And we still have 683 simoleons. I have a feeling that befriending a fox is going to be too difficult. So I did get rid of another light in here. Maybe we should try buying some power. Our rate of change is negative six per day, but the problem is that it doesn't matter what you do, you're always going to be running out of power because, because it seems like if you have a refrigerator, you can never buy enough power to support that refrigerator. Even if you upgrade it, to only take bits and pieces, it will still burn regular power. And it seems like the power generating objects actually variably generate power. And I think that's intentional. So basically if you get solar panels, they only work when it's actually sunny. And if you get wind turbines, I think they only work if it's actually windy. So I think that's the reason why you can't ever have enough power. Uh, if you get this household power generator, the issue with that is that it has to be under cover because it's an electronic and it will break in the rain. 
and if it breaks, it causes a fire. So those things are to be avoided like the plague. We might be able to get a dew collector because we don't have enough money for any of the solar panels except for this one that is on the ground, and I don't like that one. I like the roof solar panels or the roof wind turbines. I'll hold off on that and we'll see how much money we have at the end of the day. Unfortunately, when I wasn't playing Paris, it, the game gave her an umbrella. So I have to buy an umbrella rack so that I can put it away. I hate umbrellas. I forgot, I got this CC bathtub that's actually good for off the grid and it's portable. You can drag it into your inventory. And it's basically for children and for, no, don't go throw up. I said, give him a bath, her a bath. It's like, why aren't you doing what I tell you? I guess the off the grid thing might be broken. Come on. Why is it not working? Yeah, the off-the-grid one doesn't really work. All right, well, maybe we can do it if we gather some water. We'll come back to that later, Loki. I'm curious. Greg actually attacks werewolves when he sees them on his property. And I've tested it with teens. He will actually attack a teenage werewolf as well, even though you're not supposed to be able to do that as an adult. What about a pregnant werewolf? Would he actually attack me? Let's see. Okay, if I provoke Greg, he's supposed to attack everyone. And it says run away. Okay, gather water over here. Okay. Hello, Greg. Okay, apparently he will not attack pregnant sims. Okay, what if I make fun of you when I'm a werewolf? No, she just runs away. Okay, and she waddles away very slowly at that. Okay, he, he will not attack you if you are pregnant. Okay, now we're friends with Greg. We could woohoo with him, but no, I don't think we'll do that. Are there any foxes wandering around here yet? I do not see any. It's happening. Gregory Lewis is so utterly smitten with Paris Sparks that he is proposing marriage. Um, I can't say, of course. So when I say no way, it's going to ruin our romantic relationship. But I'm just going to have to put up with that. I am not going to be engaged. And now he's going to feel bad about rejection. Yep. Tough luck. Apparently, I can accuse of moving too fast, admire courage, or talk about marriage with Gregory, which is outside of any of the normal interactions. We were going to accuse of moving too fast because, sorry, we can't get married. Oh, it looked like a friendly interaction. Oh, but it really killed our romance. Okay, that's not good. All right, at least we're not unfriendly anymore. We'll send you home. And we're going to make power conservation our first choice because we're living off the grid anyway. This won't matter for us. And I really don't like the interactions of the people that come to the lot if I have support the performing arts or any of those other ones is because it, it changes their autonomy and they're obsessed with whatever the neighborhood action plan is. It's not occasional. It's constant. I don't see any foxes. Am I going to have to go to Hennifer on Bagley? That's annoying. It's already noon. Well, this is just pointless. I don't even think I should waste my time doing it. I should just try and get enough in order to buy a wind turbine or a solar panel. Oh, there's a fox. No, don't pick up Loki. Tend the table. You can pet him, but don't pick him up. As I predicted, Paris has three down arrows for bladder and she has to pee all the time because she has two things contributing to her needing to go. She has this territorial urge, which means she wants to pee and mark her territory. And then she's also pregnant on top of that. She can actually mark her territory outside though. It just makes her embarrassed though. Sorry, everyone. Pregnant lady over here trying to sell things and it didn't want to go inside. 
Aw, oh, come on. The one thing they didn't buy was the most expensive. Alright, finally. Okay, we need to spend a thousand simoleons. So we're definitely going to get some kind of power generation. The only question is which one should we get? Solar panels are 850. The wind turbine is 895. The dew collector is 560. I think we're just going to have to go for the most expensive one because it looks like we're not going to be able to buy more than one. And that leaves us with 128 simoleons. I like the green one the best. I can't believe they forgot to remove the ceiling. It looks so much cooler when you can see through the skylights. Well, we have to spin the losing wheel and we get 59%. So 59% of 128 simoleons is 76 simoleons, which gives us a total of 52 simoleons for the week. All right, well, this is the end of the first week of Paris being the new mom. So she's actually pregnant and we're making a little bit of progress, finally. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.